But there the German, there's power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. That Lamb is Jesus, who was made sin on our behalf so that we could be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus was God manifested in the flesh. Jesus was without sin while he was of Adam's race according to the flesh. He came with his own blood and he did not have Mary's blood. He did not have Adam's blood. He had his own blood, what the Bible calls the blood of God, which he purchased the church with. That's right, the blood of God. Where did God have his blood from? Well, God can create anything and everything. God is self-existent. And that blood has never lost its power. The Bible tells us that the blood intercedes. Christ intercedes for us. Well, he doesn't pray to the Father because he is the Father. But the blood makes intercession for us. Constantly making intercession for us. Oh, and I'm glad of that, aren't you? Jesus, what a wonderful God. What an eternal God. I believe that he came as God manifest in the flesh to show all men who God was. He came as God manifest in the flesh so that we might, through the example of Jesus, know how to pray to a father, relate to a father, communicate to a father, and know that the father is a God of peace, love, and the attributes which we as mankind also possess. Yet, also know that he is also a supernatural God, a God that can do the incredible and the impossible, a God who himself is the only true and living God. That's why we can say Jesus, the Lord, is our God. He is the only God. There is no God like him. I believe that when he died, he put off that flesh nature. There was nothing left in uh, the grave when he rose again. He took all of himself. There was only the, the clothes there, which were symbolic of his flesh, if you like. But he rose uh, the divine being that he always was. And that is God manifested in the flesh. But he put off his human nature. Just as when he was incarnated, he put on that human nature. I believe that's possible because when we see that uh, when the disciples came to Jesus, they said to him on one occasion, they said, uh, your mother and your brothers are outside. And Jesus said, who are my brothers? Who is my mother? Now, you might think this strange for Jesus to say that, him being all-knowing and him knowing all things. Who is my mother? Uh, had he forgotten who his mother was? No. I believe he had put off flesh. Because as man... Uh, he was God in the flesh, but as God, he has no mother. God has no father either. He was without beginning and without end. There is no mother of God, no matter what the Catholics like to tell us. Jesus has no mother that gave birth to him as a divine being. Therefore, that is one good reason not to worship Mary. The Bible says that we are to worship the Lord our God and him only are we to serve. So he put off that flesh, which means he is now a God himself and all of a God that he is. Jesus is all of the God that he truly is. We should not worship him as the Son or even talk as though he is the Son now. He is God now, because he put off the flesh. And in his 
deity, in his supreme being. He is God and nothing but God. The Bible says that he took on flesh for one purpose. It says, for this reason was the Son of God manifest, that he might destroy the works of the evil one. And yes, friends, that's a revelation also, that the works of the devil have been destroyed through Calvary. They have been destroyed. His work was complete and his work is concise and his work is finished. For this reason did he put on flesh, to destroy the works of the evil one. Isn't that great news? Now he is no longer the son, but he is who he has always been. That is the everlasting father. So with that, we can know this, that just as Jesus uh, put off the old man, so can you and I. As Paul said, put off the old man and put on the new man in Christ Jesus. Put your clothes on. Hallelujah. Get dressed today. Get dressed today. Put on the new man made in the likeness of Christ. Because we can bear his image. Oh, isn't that good news? Our God is mighty. St. Paul B. Thomas sharing with you a key thought that Jesus is God. Have a great God given day.